Good morning, afternoon, evening to you, wherever you are in the world. Today we are going to talk about movement. This is going to be the first episode of this series, which I called "From Nobility to Nobility." In game development, movement is an essential element that encompasses various actions. Such as player jump, walk, run, and melee attack. Although it may seem like basic gameplay mechanics that don't require much attention, mastering movement is crucial in creating a solid game. Whether it's an action, shooting, or fighting game, smooth and seamless movement is vital for game fluidity. And overall player experience. To help you understand this fundamental element better, we will use a bullet hell exercise to guide you through the process of movement control with Godot Node 2D. Let's first look at the game demo.、Uh, I'm going to create four directional bullets. Okay, let me do that. So as you can see, we have bullets shoot top, bottom, and left and right. As you can see, the bullet start from the center of that rectangle. Let's change this a little bit. I'm going to move the bullet away from the rectangle. So. I give it a distance of a hundred. Now you can see the bullets are shooting a hundred pixel away from the center of the rectangle.、Um, next thing I want to do is I want to add more bullets. I can increase increase the number of bullets to twenty, for example. Uh, I can also rotate、uh, the rectangle in the center. Once this happened,、uh, you can see the pattern changed as well. Okay.、Uh, next thing we can do is、um, we can increase the number of bullets.、Uh, I want to increase the value from twenty to a hundred. Now you will see、uh, a whole lot more bullets.、Uh, what else we can do is、uh, we can move the rectangle、uh, left and right.、Uh, let's just do it now. I give it a speed of five for now. Okay.、Um, what I want to do next is to increase、uh, the speed of firing. So I want to give it. I want to make it faster. Okay. Let's do something more interesting this time. Let me reset everything. Okay. Uh, reduce the number of bullets to ten, just for now. This time, what I want to do is I want to make the bullets move in a wave style. It's like a sine or cosine wave. And、uh, let me do that. Okay. So now you see、uh, we have a different pattern. So all this、uh, configuration control. Are externalized so that we can change the value from our code.、Um, so the possibility of different pattern actually, theoretically speaking, can be infinite. So let me do the last example. I want to increase、uh, increase the number of bullets to a higher level, like fifty. 
as you can see it just looks like crazy right and i'm going to move this around one more time give it a speed 10. so uh, i will just stop here and uh, so these are some of the possibilities we can have by tweaking the values of course once you get to the source code you uh, you are welcome to change the value as uh, you want to have a different result let's first open godot editor and uh, create a new project um, we are going to create our main scene so we are going to call it a game and now we save it as a game scene welcome to a uh, naming convention for scene uh, we usually use uh, Pascal uh, style, which means every, the first letter of each compound word should be uppercase. Okay, when that is done, we are going to create uh, a bullet. So basically, it's that circle, a red circle. Uh, we are going to use a node 2D. Um, we call it a circle, a bullet. Um, because uh, in Godot there's no uh, default uh, no uh, node that give us the circle uh, we are going to do it in the code so we are going to associate circle bullet with a script um, because this is a GD script its naming convention is uh, uh, should be a snake case uh, okay circle bullet Okay, uh, here um, we are going to, uh, we also gonna save this as a scene. Circle bullet. I think it's worth uh, some time to explain what a scene is uh, in Godot. Uh, a scene basically is just a class and we use that class to create object in the code. As uh, you, you already know, from the demo, you can see uh, bullets are created dyna dynamically and with different numbers and different properties. In order to support uh, that uh, uh, ability, we have to create a scene. In order to uh, display a circle, we need to uh, override uh, the draw method. Here, um, we just have to draw a circle. So Godot offers us a draw circle method. So here, as you can see, we have three uh, parameters, position, radius, and color. And for position, uh, we just give it a zero, which means it should be uh, the original, the default uh, uh, position. And radius, uh, we just give it a radius um, variable. I'm gonna create it uh, after uh, later so the next one the last one gonna be a color I will just call it init color uh, let's create create a variable for those radius I will give this uh, a int as the data type and the value the default value should be 10 if a user didn't uh, specify it and uh, the second one gonna be init color um, it's going to be a color type and the default color will be yellow as you can see um, okay let's see this uh, all right uh, let's come here so once we export a uh, radius and the initial uh, init color here uh, basically it means we are going to make those two variable available in the editor so that whenever we change the value, we don't have to touch the source code, which is very nice and handy. Uh, let's uh, uh, run this uh, circle a bullet uh, in the main game, main scene, and see uh, how it behaves. Okay, so here, as you can see, oh, let's run this uh, application. All right, as you can see, we already have this uh, yellow dot uh, in the center. So that means our circle bullet uh, is working. Now let's make it move. Add some code to move the bullet. 
So in process function, we are going to change the value of the position property. Position property controls the position of uh, the node. So in here, we just have to keep changing its uh, x value. So um, we are going to use its local coordinate transform and access its x value and uh, manipulate its position. Uh, the benefit of using transform, which is uh, the local uh, coordi coordinate system, is uh, when we try to move this uh, object along an angle, we don't have to use sine or cosine. And also, I'm going to introduce uh, a variable called speed. So this, uh, we are going to use this variable to control the speed of the bullets. Uh, lastly, we are going to use delta. So delta is uh, super useful uh, when we run a game that uh, might occasionally uh, skip frames, uh, even though it uh, skips uh, frames. Um, when it's come back to work, the distance traveled will remain consistent. The last thing we need to do is uh, introduce this uh, variable. I will give it a value uh, 10, uh, maybe 20. Okay, let's run this. As you can see, this big yellow bullet is moving along uh, the axis towards the right direction. I'm going to enable this uh, wave movement by changing its Y value. Uh, it's pretty simple. The idea is going to be very similar. We just have to use the local coordinates Y value and uh, make it oscillate along the Y uh, axis. So usually we use uh, we use either cosine or sine. Here I will just use uh, cosine. So I will use uh, these variables to uh, get the value and uh, make the bullet oscillate. Uh, and put it to Okay, so let's create those variables. Uh, offset gonna be float, uh, default is zero. Um, frequency gonna be int, default is zero as well. Export var amplitude going to be float, going to be zero. And uh, here, uh, I will just accumulate uh, the offset value. I will just use uh, a delta as the mount. Okay, let's see if we are able to oscillate this bullet. But here, where I'm going to give a frequency five, give a amplitude a 10. Let's run the app. Oh, something's wrong. So cosine offset amplitude, amplitude frequency five. Okay, what is wrong here? Yeah, see, now it's working. You can see it's oscillating. Uh, let's change this value again. So change to five. Okay, you see this small movement. Uh, okay, I think um, I'm just going to stop for today because I don't want to uh, run my video more than 20 minutes. Uh, it's hard to digest and uh, usually people doesn't have uh, that uh, attention span. And uh, please uh, keep tuned, uh, stay tuned. I will uh, explain the rest of the tutorial in the next video.